Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, changing it up a little bit today. We're going to look at the standings while I do my intro section. I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone. So anyway, um, last week, if you've been following my channel, you know that I went two and two again, which on the season makes me 14 and 14. 28 games in the books, 14 and 14. And also, let's uh, let's just bring this down a little bit if I can. Well, is that good? Did that work for you? All right. So anyway, um, right now, what we're looking at right here is the North Division of the USFL. And um, you can see on top, you got the Generals at 6-1. and one, And with a win this weekend, the Generals have assured themselves of a playoff berth. After seven games, they are 6-1. and one, Followed by the Stars at four and three, who uh, right now you got to say is probably going to be the other North team to get in um, to the playoffs and play them, play the Generals in the uh, North Championship game. And then you got the Panthers and the Maulers picking up the rear at one and six each. So that's where we are with that. And now moving along, moving along to the South Division. And uh, I guess that doesn't work. Let me move myself over now because all of a sudden now I'm blocking part of it. So uh, you got in the South Division, the Stallions stay undefeated and obviously they have assured themselves of a playoff berth. Um, and then you've got the Breakers at five and two, which appear to be the favorites uh, to get into the South Div South Division Championship game against the Stallions. And then you got the Bandits at three and four and the Gamblers at one and six. So um, that is, uh, that's a slight recap of the stand. That's really, it's, it's an in-depth re uh, recap of the standings. And at this point, there is also, there was a first last weekend, maybe you missed it, but there was an overtime game between the Breakers and the Panthers, and it was the first and so far only overtime game in the USF in the new young USFL. But with all of that having been said, let's take a look at some highlights from this past week.
right, so now it's time for what you've been waiting for, and that is my picks for week eight in the USFL. Now, uh, the, again, they're going to this kind of screwy schedule, so this week there's going to be one game Friday, one game Saturday, and two games on Sunday. So on Friday, June 3rd, you've got New Jersey against Pittsburgh, and who are you going to take in this one? <laughs> Right, you're gonna take the New Jersey Generals. So I'm picking the Generals. They are six and one. Uh, they've clinched a playoff spot already, but I don't see them resting people. I mean, really, it seems like the intent of this league is to showcase people for the NFL. So I don't expect there to be any like resting and sitting of people. Uh, plus, they would want the top seed in the um, in the North Division. So, yeah, take New Jersey in that game, and that's the only Friday night. That's a Friday night game at 7 p.m. So, moving on to Saturday, you've got a Saturday 2 p.m. game, and that is another great team in the USFL, the Birmingham Stallions, going up against the New Orleans Breakers. But guess what? I'm picking... The Breakers to win this game and hand Birmingham their first loss of the season. I mean, I watched the Birmingham game last week and they did not, they didn't look that impressive. I mean, they can be beaten. They've, a lot of games have been close that they've played and they've been lucky to win a few of them. So I'm going to take the Breakers in that one. I think the Breakers overall might just be a better balanced um, team to take on the Stallions. So go with the Breakers. Now you got two games on Sunday, the uh, 5th of June. The first one is going to be the Panthers against the Stars. <laughs> right. Yeah, we're going to go with the Stars in that one. So take the Stars to beat the Panthers. Again, I don't think there's going to be any resting of anybody, even though the Stars have locked up a playoff berth. And uh, that game is 11 a.m., 11 a.m. on Sunday. And that brings us to the final game of the week, and that is Houston against Tampa Bay. And I am really at a loss in this one, but I'm going to go with Tampa Bay. So take the uh, Bandits to beat the Gamblers, the two outlaw teams, the, ban the Bandits against the Gamblers. So, uh, yeah, take the Bandits in that one. I think that they're, I mean, they're, they're the better team. Houston is 1-6. I've said before, they've played a little better than 1-6. But they're still, I think the Bandits are a better team. So those, those are my picks. How did you guys like them? Leave your picks below in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. I do these reviews every week for the USFL. And I will do them in the fall when the NFL starts up. So, otherwise, hey, it's been great. And that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.